If you've been following video game news lately, then you know that Sony has made some rather boneheaded decisions, particularly to shut down the online stores for the PS Vita and PlayStation 3. That's a problem for game preservation. Game preservation is important. You see, there has been a concerted effort for some time now to preserve older games. Games for the Atari 2600, Commodore 64, the Apple II series computers, variety of different platforms back in the 80s, even in the 90s, there has been a concerted effort to preserve older games. And so we have the retro gaming market because of that. There is an entire industry of products that are being made to play games or enable you to preserve older games like there's emulation boxes for playing old console games if you have ROMs of them or if you have original cartridges you know, emulation boxes that allow you to use the actual cartridge for those old systems there is even FPGA based systems that try to get as close to the original hardware as possible so the games run as if they're running on actual older machines which are aging quite a bit systems like the Atari 2600 and older computers and, and and the like and there's an entire industry surrounding this they you have conventions dedicated to retro gaming you have entire online communities dedicated to it there's a lot of youtubers that cover retro gaming. Retro gaming is a big thing. Even our close associate channel, Gamers Bay, is dedicated to older games, retro console and arcade games. So we can play those older games, games that are from my childhood, old games from the 2600, the Commodore 64, the Apple II, games that I grew up with. I can go back and I can play those games in some form because someone had the thought of preserving those games because cartridge games they tend to last a little longer but there are games on diskette and cassette tape which are aging you've got disc rot you've got the magnetic surfaces of discs that are starting to lose their ability to hold data and so you've got people who are dedicated to preserving those games, putting, in the, putting them in digital format so that they can be played in, in other ways, so that people can enjoy them. Otherwise, those games would completely vanish. And so here's the danger with what Sony's doing. A lot of games, some of which never received physical releases for the PS3, are not going to be accessible anymore because they shut down the store. No one's going to be able to play those games anymore. Not unless some retro game pack is released with a bunch of older PlayStation 3 games that were never given physical releases comes out anytime soon. No one's going to be able to play those. That's a problem. And the then there's the PS Vita. You downloaded all the games for that. So unless you unless you already have a Vita with all the games on it that you want to play, you won't be able to get access to those games. And some of those games won't, won't work because the store is gone because they dial home. That's a huge problem for being able to preserve those older games. The games that are a part of the heritage of the heritage and culture of the people who played them at the time. It's important that we preserve these things as it's as important to preserve these older games as it is to preserve old books and old music. It is as important to do that. And what Sony has done harms our culture harms our history and they don't seem to care at all anyway I am the professor thank you for watching
Hey, I'm the Professor, and I want to let you know that a new show is coming very soon. It is going to be called Gamer Gab. Now, Gamer Gab is going to be a show where Mike Dezorch and Tigracon talk about all sorts of different aspects of gaming. Either it's a subject like the importance of lore in video games, or the importance of good controls, or whatever subject they, they decide to talk about. It will be about an hour long show, and they will talk about all sorts of various subjects and give their opinions on various things, and they will even you know, touch a little bit on current news at the time. So watch for that, it's going to be called Gamer Gab. <laughs>